All right, everyone, we're back with some more Dokkan Battle. So we have this new skill orb event that is up on both JP and Global Dokkan. And you can attempt this event once a day. And essentially, it does give you category exclusive skill orbs for movie bosses and movie heroes. So before we do this event, let's switch over to the browser. And we're going to go ahead and read this and talk about what it does uh, using the global version here. So, okay, I didn't even mean to click on that, whatever. It says, one attempt per day, an event where you can get movie heroes or movie bosses category exclusive skill orbs. There's going to be two paths on the map of the event. And then depending on the path you choose, you'll get either movie heroes category exclusive skill orbs or movie bosses exclusive skill orbs. Now I'm assuming you're good, there's going to be a path with Piccolo and then a path like the Salsa and the um, uh, Cooler's Armored Squadron, right? And yeah, it's right there, okay. Piccolo uh, has a movie heroes category path and then the Thouser has the movie bosses, right? It says right here, of course, you could raise a character's potential skill level by equipping these equipments. Uh, bronze, silver, and gold. And they are, okay, so there's actually no EX skill orbs that drop here. But I know that there are some in the missions, right? If we take a look at here are the missions. Um, and you can get some of these EX skill orbs here by clearing it 5, 10, 15, and 20 times in total. Um, now, I believe all of these are actually EX skill orbs. I will take a look at it in the actual game itself. But here are just a list of the actual skill orbs. And again, you want to do this event every day. Uh, especially for cooler i think goku has access to some equips but cooler doesn't really have access to as many equips i feel like so yeah if we take a look here again you can get up to level three to five hp attack and defense for these i think ideally you want to go ahead and get this you can get uh bronzes additionals and crits i did i'd say this doesn't really matter this is this ex skill ups for here i'm assuming you're gonna get those through missions uh we'll take a look here though um let's see here so it seems that there's silver ones there's a three four and five crits evasion and then the additionals definitely want to go for the additionals i feel like um usually nowadays units i uh, drop something but usually nowadays units they do a lot of stuff on super attack so it could, gaining additionals is good but i think none of these are really a bad option because silver equipment is just so rare so you want to get as much silver as you can. There's these ones. These ones aren't really good or anything. It doesn't really matter. It seems their EX skill orb is level 4 here. So again, we'll check in the missions and see if those are available. For gold, we have 4 and 5 for crit and additional. There's a mixture right here that you can get. And then there's an EX skill orb one that you can get. And it's essentially the exact same for the movie bosses one. All the exact same equipments except they're for specifically movie bosses. So again, you want to do this event at the bare minimum 20 times to get all the missions here. I guess now I'll just switch over here. Um, if you take a look here, I guess I'll open this and then we can look at the actual missions tab here. We see again, there's a bunch of these EX skill orbs here. So here's all these ones. These ones don't matter, but it's like this one is actually pretty nice to get. And these ones, you get, again, one for each of them. So any movie bosses and movie heroes character, you can put this on. And they're EX skill orbs, so you can replace them, which is very valuable. And then you get two of these, again, one for movie bosses and one for movie heroes. These are gold, level 3 additional, and crit skill orbs. So these are all pretty good, uh, except for these ones. They're, they're suck, but especially the silver ones. Those are really, really good. And again, you want to do this up to 20 times, so... Let's hop into the event. It's 10 stamina. I'm going to go ahead and get this done with the, um, what's it called? The, I think I'm going to go for the movie bosses side. I think that's going to be more important because again, I think like cooler, you know, has less equipment options than like Goku's in my personal opinion. So let's see if I get anything good here. There's a gold, a silver. Again, we want as meant. Yes. Give me all the silvers, man. That's what I want to see. Actually, without the intros playing, if I do, I might as well play them. Okay, I did turn off intros. Good. I know for the uh, <laughs> for the Kid Gohan event uh, video, I did not actually turn off intros for that. So that obviously was a little unfortunate that I forgot to do that because it was like a whole extra like two and a half minutes or something. No, it was like an extra minute or so, but it was, we just sat through there. It was like all three played at once, which is pretty funny. 
Okay, so we did end up getting a gold here. Let's see what we get. I think this could be pretty nice for sure, right? Show me what you got here, Dokkan. Whatever it loads, of course. Okay, this is gonna take like years to load apparently. Okay, <laughs> that's that's funny. What do I have? Give me additionals. Okay, okay, we got the ones. Okay, I got level five additional for movie bosses. Level four crit, I'll take that, I guess. And then level five addition, uh, evasion. Honestly, not bad at all. Um, I'll definitely take these. And again, this event resets daily. And JP, from the time of this recording, it resets in five hours. So it's what? 8 a.m. Pacific time. On global, it resets at your reset time, which I believe is 5 p.m. Pacific time. So again, make sure you guys do this every day. Very, very important. Um, other than that, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think and what skill you may be getting. I'll catch you in the next one.